Welcome everybody to Mud Flood Was Armageddon, formerly Flat Earth Nation. Time for a review in philosophy, theology, geology, biology, ontonology. But not with things that I said and wrote down last week. When I said, by the way, the heart is the vanishing point between the swastika, sphastika, toroidal, double torus vortex powered electrical receptacle connected by analema styled Mobius strips that allow the natural area of our miasma or aura that spins around the polaris of our heart even if we are hanging by our ankles from a tree we wear our miasma on our sleeves as an unseen bubble similar to the effect of a piece of metal attracted to a magnet no that's last week you know that's how i got here and my argument because you know i've been looking for debate is that that type of what some people call rambling, including some of my more recent detractors who the last time they were detracting from me were saying that anybody that posts on YouTube supports child pornography. Well, now they're posting on YouTube saying, oh no, Alan and the, the Bogomil Christian seeking of God doesn't work is back on YouTube posting. So I don't know if he's saying something I'm not, but what I'm saying is what you just heard and just, you know, this part of it again. The heart is the vanishing point between the swastika, swastika, toroidal, toroidal dual toruses, vortex-powered electrical receptacle connected by analema style Mobius strips. I probably, you know, might have been looking at the word capacitor because that stores electricity without even knowing it but or even something that I wrote nine months ago not nine days ago not nine months ago we're gonna be looking at things I wrote from 2017 to 2020 20, 2019 three years ago before other people were talking about this have other would, would have been the worldwide earthquake theory which is what I talked about and a lot of people e equate that with if if for example the, the thousand year reign did already happen and Satan would have been released in Revelation 20 um, that could have caused an, a worldwide earthquake but could it and it could have caused a lot more as many many people ponder you know those questions that were raised by what some people would just consider the babbling of somebody that you know is it, I, I guess I'm a habitual liar to them that I, I can't back up with the records that you know that I've been there done that you know I, I guess I have one out as I was doing my thing you know so Let's see the best way to show this without too much information. Yeah, I guess you can see I, I, I was a surveyor. You know, so I, I guess that proves I, I do at least know trigonometry and geometry. And so it is possible I worked on that parallel azimuth direction sending platoons that the information was later transcribed in and called GPS. Those things are still in play and you know all you got to do is search my records. I'm right there. Nine days ago, you heard what I said, nine months ago, almost around in there, I said it's death by a thousand cuts for the people related to the opium wars against China 
What goes around comes around, and they will reap what they sow. You are a target right this very second if you're white and ready to fight or flight. Shouts of, it was not me, not this white free man, it was not my master plan, it's stupid to blame me. They don't care if China is not your neighbor. They are part of the lie agreed upon by those who know and hate God. Yikes. Too recent. <clears throat> this is one from, some of them have dates some of them will have to be figured out later. Monism versus duality. Gnostic thought was not hidden by the Gnostics, but it was fought to the death by Trinitarian. So this was back when I was still in flux about how to teach one God, one blood, those type of things. So, you know, some of these are going to be up to here. Some of here, some of them, you know, will run across a date, but I have it open to this page where it reads, always on the verge of death. So this is the, we'll say the 2017 to 2019 stuff. Before anybody else was talking about mud flood was Armageddon, that type of thing always on the verge of death, ready to question what sting. So what is the real last in me? What was your former fear? How long have you walked in victory? Is Christ your victory? Eternity awaits the patient, penitent heart. This is the last day. Time was trapped and sealed until the time of the end as spoken of in Daniel. I'm not going to forget my past in proving scripture. It was God who deserves praise. Today, I want to say, I think the Great Wall of China is a map of our stars, possibly a map of the Great Rift. There is no rhyme or reason other than the star map for the wall's weird shape. Death, where is thy victory grave? Days are over for some people living today. Blessed are those who wait the last 45 years. Blessed are those who wait <coughs> by the gate to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Slaves fear no grave, waiting for the final jubilee. <coughs> I'm wondering if this is that old. This might be a newer one, but I don't think so. This is such a... It's from one of the groups that I remember when I was glad I had a, you know, it was a 25 cent book and I was glad to get it. So I know it's from Colorado, I believe. Some people living today, blessed are those who wait the last 45 years. Blessed are those who wait by the gate and hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Slaves fear no grave, waiting for the final jubilee day. Lifted veil says, saints wait for a rescue of fire sent by the Lord Jesus Christ. If people are not talking the fact, we are living judgment. It's because their eyes have not been opened yet. I've seen an effort to humanize AI computers by using rats in a maze. They admit rat studies have programmed humans too. The spiritual seed was carried in human genes. Gene theory gone wrong is called eugenics. What is a dormant spiritual seed per T-cell waiting awakening to help healing or to start killing I, looking for a spiritual seed planted in you, waiting to hear his voice. There is a note in God's eye caused by 
hows who in his pride thought himself equal if not better than his creator God the Bible beautifully explains this in terms of an infection rejected by supernaturally pure spiritual resistance to anything evil as per the affection is not known to the host and an army of T cell inspired angels instantly dispose of all that is not pure and holy with a fire purification I'm speaking mostly metaphorically at this point because we are spiritual seed of Israel and physical seed of a history reset aho used to start my show like that and then I'd go into you know like, hey this is a canal check out the Erie Canal some of my favorites <clears throat> to whom does God show mercy he makes us merciful from pity he does not need to provide an explanation for judgment write this on your heart he wrote the end then start what would it take for you to become a peacemaker We are living our apocalyptic end of the world judgment. Get on board with the facts. The stones are crying out against globe earth loving Christians as much as it does against masked up churches meeting from home to reach out to LBTQ plus. Oh, there's a timestamp. It's as if I'm a spark in water called life. Genes. G E N E S. I've been fighting Atlantis for a while now, but I don't stick to Atlantis itself without thinking about how the blood will be on my hands if I don't warn people that Christ is Lord. This is a flat earth under a dome created by God who is seeing his book finished. All is Gog and Magog from here. Oil by the barrel, hydrocarbons from organic matter, access to oil reserves in a time of fiat petrol dollars, of all the places I've been, I wonder where I'm from no longer. I am a spirit trapped in a seed formed of flesh. My end is a time appointed by God, my creator. I celebrate the word of God by frequently pondering frequencies. I've been left wondering more about resonance. Now this sounds more recent, but this is so, okay, well wait, wait, wait. Here's a date. 12, 13, 2021. So, okay, so this is, so this is, you know, this is, uh, I brought this with me and, and it, so this one here, But it's still about that nine months. But this would have been written probably in Wisconsin. So we'll be working our way back. Good. All right. I want my message of God's love to resonate. If cymatic patterns vibrate, because of sound and magnetic properties, how will that help me teach people that the golden age is past? Did any of that resonate? 
we don't need to keep fighting the civil war because their wars are for mammon, not moral superiority. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, fellow spirit-trapped beings. Each and every one of you who were known before you were born of the water and then the spirit. If you have not been also from the spirit, these words have made no sense to you at all. Being born again in the Bible is presented as fact. Remember facts and nothing but the facts, like as truth. A little bit goes a long way. I want you to live a life that somehow proves born againism. Born againism, dig deep into what it means, but I also want to stay on topic about golden age past. So in life we hear terms such as past, present, future. Christ was God in the flesh when he provided himself as the perfect sacrifice sometime in the past. That already happened. While Jesus walked the earth, the people alive at that time lived in the present. Christ Jesus warned them about their future. I'm glad that took care of itself. Remember? I'm trying to keep on task. Teaching Golden Age Past. So keeping Christ front and center is always the best idea. Born again in the time of the end, waiting on Gog and Magog in a post-apocalyptic new world order. Interesting. Apparently the metaphor of a potter and the clay rang as true then when it was written as it is clear to us today. We're supposed to know that clay can't say after being molded, I feel scolded because I was not made for glory. So with a run on sentence, I begin lesson about despising, not correction. What God has made clean is clean. I know I was more than dirty being dead in my sin. Jesus washed away my sin. Now clean, I can be presented before my Creator, who made me the clay and the spirit and the soul. Moving on from being a child, our God-given goal, we are to seek His nature. Set verses from Romans and Acts 10 clay and eating unclean. What part of set apart is hard to understand? It's harder for fools who despise correction even knowing it's written on their heart. God chastens those he loves. No simple life, true royalty. Sin is in the camp, camp of a holy and pure God. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Fall into the hands of an angry God because here we are? We are that clay created for honor. So here we live, think, and blink our eyes in amazement because nothing else matters to me but I am clean because of Christ. From my head to my toe, I am white as snow. My hope is to be transformed. My fear is that I have millstoned and conformed by the wide road world. I am spirit speaking clay and when I get to speak on that day I'll say I plead the blood of Christ who died for my sin, the safest and only way to begin. We should start at Acts chapter 10 verse 15 cleansed 
from being defiled. Work heartily for the Lord. Some clay will teach the way. They will walk a lonely road waiting for their real home, a home not of this earth and its dust that we must consider as the dry part of future wet clay. Slay yourself daily, die to this world that's passing away. The comforter of the spirit teaches fear of God above all. A just God of love, revealing things by opening eyes and ears of a people, closed, chosen, a people explained as guaranteed to sing his praise, bring the light to life. It's written on my heart because of a second birth, leaving me also a realized spirit being found in a formed clay body of magnetic electric flesh that leads to more than a mouthful of praise a spiritual battle is fought unseen by beings that some Christians were called to judge 21 days the archangel Michael an angel who fights for Jesus on the throne 21 24 hours, three weeks, Michael fought with Satan on orders from the crown. Daniel chapter 10, verse 13, happened in real time back then. What's going on right now is most likely equally exciting to the angels who are not omniscient. All prayers in Jesus' name, I'm certain he gets what he wants, and I'm equally certain he rules my heart and wants me to warn you to fear him who will have every knee bow in the light of his presence, an object lesson for angels. An object lesson for angels who fight our spiritual battles still need to be judged by Christians in a place the chosen call their real home. Jacob limped after wrestling with God, and Apostle Paul Wall called to suffer his name. The Apostle Paul was called to suffer for his name's sake because he has provided the first and the last in the past for our eternal future. So now I'm trying to write with my left hand, so you can put a timestamp on that. Remember, all of these were written probably getting close to the, you know, when I was just closing in on about 9,000 subscribers, and at the time when I was shut down, it was about 10,000. So here I'm writing with my left hand. Art is hard to appreciate, so it makes me want to go postal. Are people driven in a limo to the crazy train? I'm in my right mind finally. Left hand writing feels like pushing a pallet jack too fast. You're going straight until you're not. You know what I mean? Well, if you're a warehouse manager, you know exactly what I mean. That's almost impossible. Oh, it's going to jerk. Were we all legion? What has Jesus done for you? Have you been healed, comforted in any way? Possibly even demon possession or left-handed capitals? What part of life feels like waking up from a dream? Do you taste or smell in your dreams? Who's fit for the kingdom? When do you know that? Your hand is on the plow. Why do people look back? This is me rejoicing. My name is written in the book of life. What part of art is for fist pumping 
in celebration, who starts are with malice in their rock hard hearts, murders. If you hate, you murder. If you lust, it's as adultery with a healthy hint of rape. Sin is sin on the left or right hand path. Holding the handle of the plow stops what? Letting go of the plow. Letting go of the plow ends when? Genesis 2 verse 5. And there was no man to till the earth until that second creation. I'm happy I can read my own writing. The narrow road is not a left or right hand path. When he was talking to them, could we follow him like his disciples? Can we get into a boat and sail with him across a big lake? How do we follow him today? While well, Satan is loosed for the last time. This is not the last day or even the last week, but they are on the way and next judgment. What I'm trying to say is that if Peter and John were in the boat with them, it, it, we are still alive today. So their last day was going to be their judgment in Armageddon, which was that wicked and deceitful generation that went a wing fork in his hand. Acts at the root. This generation won't pass away. That's what I was trying to get at. So, you know, they, they, they could have taken a boat ride with him where a lot has happened since then and it is all still Bible times. Maybe we'll come back to that. Now this is an old one. Uh, what do I have on dates on this? We'll be able to work it out and figure it out on the way. But I must have been uh, feeling pretty good. I got a five subject college level one here and the first page says flat earth nation is real. It exists as a state of mind. Golden age past is a fact. What is a fact really? Is it an ingredient of world salad of the day? What does it mean to exist? Wow, I'm going to get into existentialism or something here. Exist in the moment. Repeat. Wake, eat, then sleep. Repeat. Find time for philosophy. Relentlessly search for what? Driven between meals to seek safety or thrills. Realize I'm writing these words for others to hear. Understanding my philosophy, I continue believing in that I'm called by God to talk to as many people as God allows, including you. I teach Flat Earth Nation Golden Age Pass. Explain, it's a fact that has been brought to my attention by study of scripture, Sola Scriptura. Your time has come. Sola Scriptura, your time has come. Acts chapter two, verse 47 praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved whom added what to who the Lord added to the church peoples who were being saved saved from what wrath saved from the coming wrath of God so you and so everyone are either saved from wrath or you are not also, you have warnings. 
Some people will think they are saved, but they are not. Matthew 7, 22, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name cast out demons and perform many miracles? But if we err on one point, and when I'm writing these scriptures down, I'm, I'm trying to go, I know I'm not getting them right. I'm writing them from memory and some of them are probably paraphrasing so. Many will say on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name cast out demons and perform many miracles? But if we err on one point, James 2 verse 10, for whoever keeps the whole law but stumbles at one point, he is guilty of all. Stumble at flat earth, stumble over Armageddon past, stumble over the fact that that many hear the words of life as a triggered stench of death. In Acts 2.47 it says many many were being saved but compared to what? Wide roads, narrow road, many called but few understand the one stumbling point. You can't call yourself Build Babylon back better? Oh, this must be new. I thought this was old. Oh, this is too good. Build Babylon back better? Was this with when Joe was first campaigning? I, I will have to. We have a date on it. Oh, this is Friday, January 2022. I wanted to get something older. Yeah, this is all very recent. Yeah, let's get, let's go back. Uh, You've heard this recently. All right, the oldest date I see is a list of things I had to do on 3-14-2019. I also wrote that day, the evidence for 9-11, Benghazi 9-11, Sandy Hook, the murder of Pat Tillman, all dismissed with the ease of a flick of the wrist, all the talk of trusting now, Scripture alone is wrongly condemned to all Christians, but it is their new duty to make the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Not the reason to rebuild the government of the United States, but to rule in your heart. This is what did I? What I actually said was, Scripture alone is wrongly condemned to all Christians. New duty is not to the Lord Jesus Christ, but to the ruling powers of the government. And that's what it seemed like at me at the time: is that everything was right or left, right or left, and everything wasn't about. It was all about, oh, let the government sort this out for us. But this is one of the books that I, I wrote in it, got to the end, and started back on the other side. So we can go to the beginning of this. And it says, you know, I estimated this as being finished around February, late February 2019. But I had that note in there because I started it again using the back pages from something but we'll look at some of the other ones along the way. This, this is how this one starts. Blessed are 
the dead, those dying in the Lord from now on, Revelation 13:13, 13, 13, affliction, poverty, quote from Jesus, I will pay worthy, Christ knows our works. Okay, th this is a different type of speech where I would just use each of these and talk off of them. I'm not going to do that tonight. Christ knows our works, reward, hate. Christ says, buy from me, Revelation 11, verse 15. Here we go. 1,260 days, Revelation 12, verses 5 and 6. Peace has been given by Christ to a peculiar people. Laos of one's own possession. God's own possession. Hebrews 10, 39. 1 Peter 2, verse 9. That word is used. It's number 1519 in your Strong's Concordance. There's another word, 4047, meaning a holy nation purchased and possession. Now those could be combined in a compound word there. Titus 2, 14, purify himself zealous of good works. It's also used one time in Titus 2.15. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. And that time its use is the 4041. All authority. Let no man despise thee. What is a capital idea? Acts 24-7, I have Strong's number 761, it is unmovable. In 1 Corinthians 15-58, there is also a word, Strong's number 277, it also is translated unmovable. I was looking into why are there two things translated unmovable, and in parentheses I have N-O-E, with looks like a diphthong underneath it. What is a capital idea? Is there a crux of the situation? What is the line you dare not cross? Was it dream? Was it drawn in the sand by a sword? What is what if this is my father's world? Could you hear him pass through the rustling grass? Is there one thing you still lack? Put your hand on the plow and don't look back. Don't be surprised when Satan attacks. You can't see the target while plowing because the knife goes in the back. Welcome, earthlings, to think time. Today we're going to spend time thinking about something called the economy a complex world of reaping what you sow because time is supposed to be like money so even as we spend time thinking we are forced to think of a concept called time as an assistant that must have been earned free time you now you've got free time free time is yours skipping ahead past the graveyard named greed we look for answers to help us comply knowing each person with a capital P has a unique level of sustainable effort but is greed fueled by competition or is it a product of defective source material. I will not dumb down this lesson if you do not have a basic knowledge of why I could drive to your town, go to your local Walmart, and walk straight to the butter and the milk. Why? Because they have been straightingly placed 
strategically placed there in the back of the store strictly for your inconvenience to waste some of your free time. It's barbaric. Barbaric, I said, imitating that senator whose name started Ku Klux Klan. Someone is planning your future. To them, you are an economic union, one individual human resource. As we continue thinking, why is it most of this audience already understands my use of their large dictionary of necessary concepts able to reference terms in context with the facts we are supposed to find important universally so I'll show you how I have many different punctuations you might want to see that that's kind of differently constructed train children without natural affection what is that it's Strong's number 2596 to imitate, start, dedicate? No, that might be Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train. Not break a child in the way he should go. Like they break horses. When did they start that? When did they just right off the bat stop dog whispering and horse whispering and go right to electric collars? Nebuchadnezzar's Nebuchadnezzar's image was dedicated and started at a point in time. Daniel 3, verse 2. There would have been a, quite a bit about that. An altar dedicated in number 7, verses 10 and 11. The house of the Lord in 2 Chronicles 7, verses 5 and 9. The rebuilt temple in Ezra 6, verse 16. That's, that's how I would have gone into the sermon and had other stuff. Moving on. <clears throat> this will sound familiar. Cain was not a different bloodline than Abel. <clears throat> we are all one blood, check scripture. Why am I the one explaining this to you? Should be self-evident in only a few minutes. If not, check back later because your eyes and ears have not been opened by God. For Christ's sake, that when Christ has taken his place, all those worthy of Praise will be worthy only because of faith given by God to praise his Christ. Highways and byways much? The same Christ, the only Messiah who shrugged and said, this type only comes out by prayer and fasting. I could have said Christ shrugged in a non-evil manner. It was more like an object lesson, explaining the levels of spiritual realities of principalities and powers. But maybe it's you who have shrugged off the Lord. Have you fasted for a day or even sacrificed a meal? Not had a late breakfast because that's, your tummy was upset or, you know, you just eat late in the day, but, you know. What saith the apple of God's eye? I will not sacrifice that which has cost me nothing. I am talking about being born and born again. What is earthly power? Completely change the meaning of words and phrases. A childlike faith is rendered useless. How can a child comprehend the new changed meaning of born again? as defined by seminary dependent teaching that calls on the individual to ask to be born. What madness. 
Did you choose your first birth? No, you did not. God's books are all written the end from the beginning. There is not a sparrow or hair from your head that God does not control falling. Don't forget that Christ could have walked through walls as he could divide to multiply those loaves of bread because he is the bread of life and God in the flesh. You live now because Christ wills. You are rich or poor, tall or short, born in this time, listening to my voice because it was God will come to pass in your life. Now I take on as now I take that as settled so we can move on. Would you think most people would want to be born into a perfect family? How humble would you be when it came to choosing your looks? I want to be a life lottery winner. But it does not work like that. You're a lump of clay to the potter at your own risk, say, why did you make me this way? Notes from Doug Bartles. To add in, we were in a conversation, and uh, the notes for that show would have been, you know, when we when we all see these flash before our life, when in judgment time, we'll know that these were notes. What happened to Hannah was non-sexual child abuse. Probably we we were talking about Eli. I mean, not good. You know, walk up to you know, what are you doing, you drunk crazy person? You know, that's weird. So what happened? Am I about to cast blame? Notes from Doug B. Each in their own order. Christ first. Those who are Christ. Check, check. Three. Deliver up kingdom. So what is the relationship? Rest of the boys from Brazil. Huh. Moving on, Zechariah chapter 7, verse 12. Yea, they made their hearts an adamant stone, lest they could hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts hath spent in his spirit by the former prophets sent in his spirit by the former prophets therefore come came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts I know Christians are living stones but what is a adamant stone better how do we avoid becoming an adamant stone? First, Ezekiel 3, verse 9. As an adamant harder than flint have I made your forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious heart. The forehead was hard because God, their face, strong against a impudent and hard-hearted Israel. Adamant is number 8068, Shamir. Strong's lists it as either a thorn or as a gemstone possibly a diamond eight times though it's listed as a briar only one time as an adamant stone one time as adamant and one time as diamond 
It is also linked to number 8104. So let us take at a look away from Shamir to Shamar. Shamar to hedge about as with thorns to protect, attend, it equals keep. And it is translated that way 283 times. It's translated 46 times as observe, 35 times as heed. I think we had better look up some briar verses. This is a good one, I guess. So guess what? All the other times Shamir is used are in the book of Isaiah. I can see where this is going faster. I can see where this is going so fast in your seat belts. I was very dramatic, huh? First, I need to look up a verse. Habakkuk 3 verse 15. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses and heap up great waters. It seems we are going to be learning about the glittering spear. But first, back to the briars. Briar patch. Nettles. Number 5, 6, 36. Isaiah 55, verse 13. Now there's a number to look up thorn tree. 55, 44. And that is in Ezekiel 28, verse 24. There's also a word thorn plant, which is 23.12, which is used in Micah, chapter 7, verse 4. There is also thistle, which is strong, number 56.21, used in Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 6. You might be interested also in Strong's number 1303, used in Judges, chapter 8. Verses 7 and 16. I have the two verses in Judges now translated. Briars, same as the thorns above, Judges 8, 7. Gideon said, Therefore, when the Lord hath delivered Zeba and Zalmua into my hand, then I will tear your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and with briars Judges 8 16 and he took the elders of the city and thorns of the wilderness and briars and with them he taught the men of Succoth was he teaching gemstones verse 17 and he beat down the towers of Penuel and slew the men of the city. Judges, chapter 8, concerning Gideon. Peniel, P-E-N-U-E-L. Sounds like penial land, I know. But I had to throw it in there anyway. So I better check out the word thorn in Judges 8. Well, it's number 6975. Thorn. So we see the Old Testament writers had plenty of words for thorns, trees, and thorns, plants, along with thistles and weeds. So why translate number 8068 Shamir and number 1303 as Briar? We'd better look. Number 8068 Shamir from number 8104 in the original sense from picking picking or pricking the thorn might prick you also from its keenness or sharpness for scratching a gem probably or diamond that is all under the definition in 8068 8104 should get a look, reminder, Shamar, to keep, to revere, as in Psalm 31, verse 6, I have hated them that Shamir, 
regard lying vanities. But I trust in the Lord. He has hated those who shamir, shamar, revere lying vanities. But I trust in the Lord. So look for a scratching sharp, darm, sharp diamond with word number 1303. We could be possibly getting into some mild, some ideas about uh, graven images. Who knows? Briars. Back to num to word number one three zero three. Two times used, and as Barquan, and it is from. You could just back up. You go to Strong's number one three zero zero. These would be Hebrew. Burning brightly has to come from the root word of Barak Strong's number 1300 and it means lightning number 1300 is short so in full it's used 21 times as Barak from number 1299 lightning by analogy a gleam a flashing sword lightning 14 times glittering four times one time a bright it's also used one time glitter and one time just straight up glittering sword as opposed to flashing sword so looking that was that was it's from the 129 that was 1300 we'll look at 129 different a little bit one time it's the prime root root word of that and it means lightning cast forth. So now I have to look up cast forth. It's used in Psalm 144, verses 5 and 6. Bow the heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Verse 6. Cast forth lightning, and scatter them, and destroy them. Cast forth could read fire up and lightning I should not I should not be this hard it's thorns or lightning oh I, I might be talking to King James Version only people who are mad that I are unhappy that I don't like their choice of words so back to Strong's number 8068 in the Isaiah passages, 7, verse 25, 9, chapter 9, verse 18, chapter 10, verse 17, chapter 27, verse 4, and chapter 32, verse 13. We have them translated as fear, devour, burn, and burn. All the verses are used in conjunction, thorns and briars. I don't think so because we know the root of 8068 is a sharp gemstone. Will you set a synapse for me? Wire up a thought about glittering swords and horses walking in heaps of water, a worldwide heap of water receding from face of flat earth not in 40 seconds minutes or hours picture this visual a giant fish tank a bunch of fish and an electric shock you know what would happen now drain slowly back to the fountains of the deep now think about the earth during Noah's flood Draining water spins all the water, the Nephilim of all sizes, super tall to tiny small, would all group together as the spin and drain where the giants collect together or called mountain ranges. Oh, where the giants collect together are called mountain ranges. I propose that after some drainage, a horse and rider entered the heap of water.
to let the water flow to the sea, that is where we get canyons and gorges carved with a glittering spear. Let's go a second mile and see what I call evidence from scripture. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 15. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses, the heap of great waters. Great waters equals MVD. Piles or stone or piles of stone. Uh, I have a crossed out line here that says, I crossed this out because great in Habakkuk 3 as in great waters of uh, and I started over it is probable that the third chapter of Habakkuk describes the cleanup after the flood. Don't fight it see if it fits. Chapter 3 verse 4 and his brightness was as the light he had horns out of his hand and there the hiding of his power horns in that sense equals a bright light and that's at least from a side note verse 5 burning coals went forth at his feet verse 6 he stood and measured the earth the everlasting mountains were scattered the perpetual hills did bow Verse 8, was the wrath against the sea that thou didst ride upon thine horses, the chariots of destruction, that's Habakkuk 3, verse 8, verse 9, thou didst cleave the earth with rivers, verse 10, the mountains saw thee, they trembled, the overflowing of waters passed by, the deep uttered his voice, lifted up his hand on high, the sun and the moon stood still in their habitation at the light of thine arrows that went at the shining of thy glittering spear. Verse 15, thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses, the heaps of great water. Revelation 20 verse 9, and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Greek number 4442 fire means lightning in Revelation 20 verse 9 when you're going to be rescued some of you or your children how much more how much more what what everybody wants is enough enough is better than to possess than less. Too little of enough is dangerous. The danger of embarrassment through lack of preparation. The danger of death if it was a trip across a desert and the question of how much was concerning water. So the question becomes how much more time do I feel I have to wait? Add to that question knowledge, and a book has swept the earth. That book is the Bible, and the people who have full trust in the Bible call words in that book Scripture, Holy Scripture. You may have heard that people who trust the Bible confess to believe that the authors of the scriptures were being prompted by the Spirit of God who claims to have created everything in the world and somehow somehow still considers himself as in control of all he made. The scriptures contend that even I have been born under a curse of sin as you that goes for everyone else also. Now is not the time for me to prove that you have fallen short of your aim to please God, having missed the target of 
self-contained perfection, so I will have more than enough time to explain that I think of what I think is the intentional obfuscation of Scripture. Are you trusting the blood of Christ? You should be. You have only understood you have only understood that concept as it is taught in Scripture. I want to be understood by people who call the Bible the Word of God. I have been praying for someone to listen with me to what the Word of God is teaching through its written word. But how much? How much should everyone trust the Bible? Specifically, how much should I trust the words written by people whom other people say were inspired by God the Father and Creator of everything animal, vegetable, and mineral? What drives me and not others to what could be best described as total trust in the ultimate truth of the scriptures understood and acted upon by living life to seek the God of creation who teaches that transcendent spirit has voluntarily assumed the example of a loving father. Let that sink in. This was not too much, but I hope it was enough because I want you to know more about what I think about scripture. If most people who read the Bible say they understand the words they read, what is my problem? Where is this plan obfuscation that I consider part of Satan's deceiving the nations and people will that old serpent while that old serpent is gathering his army for the battle of Gog and Magog Revelation chapter 20 I will it I will be helpful to pause and go get a King James Version Bible because it is the only version referenced in Strong's Concordance shortly uh, these are notes to myself shortly discuss KJV and how it is most mostly King James Version in the intellectual study or trust a paraphrase so you know that's what their argument is well this is the real Bible and the rest is just a paraphrase and I'm going to pause it stretch out for a second theory that I would have other, would, would have been the world wider fake theory which is what I talked about and a lot of people e equate that with if, if for example the, the thousand year reign did already happen and Satan would have been released in Revelation 20 um, that could have caused a worldwide earthquake, but could it also have been from a volcanic eruption? Absolutely, especially if it's rain. So I'm gonna, I am going to go ahead and just start another video in a little bit like that, but I don't want to make these three-hour videos that nobody will ever watch. But I do want uh, to talk about philosophy and debate and what the Bible says about, you know, a lot of things. So thank you for joining me. It's the Flat Earth Nation. Mud Flood was Armageddon. You know, I'm never going to tell you anything else. Why would I? I'm trying to prove I have your best interest at heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Aho.